What's up guys, it's Matt with BleepinJeep.com. Today we're working on some quarter panel armor here for the Scorpion Crawler project. Now mine is a little bit different than normal just because we have this top plate. I've cut the uh, pillars out so this is going to be kind of a tie-in for me but if you wanted to make this all you'd have to do is not add this top piece obviously and make some quarter panel armor for yourself. I just posted a picture of this on Facebook a few minutes ago and people have responded that it looks very heavy. Um, I used eighth inch plate and so far each side is about 22 and a half pounds so it's not that bad compared to uh, some that are out there on the market which are a lot thicker and heavier. Um, you could go thicker with this steel, make it a lot stronger, but uh, I think eighth inch is going to work for me because I'm going to have, um, obviously I've I've dovetailed the back here so it's out of the way of the trees. It's not going to stick out in the middle, but uh, also I'm going to have tubing and a full roll cage around this thing. So uh, this is just secondary protection. I've also overlapped the back right here. Now you can do that either to protect your lights or you can do that and then build onto this and add a little light box. That's what I intend to do is add some sort of LED light box for the brake lights and the reverse lights. So I've just about finished up this side, but let me take you over and we'll show you how we're going to do the opposite side. So here is the quarter panel from the opposite side. Now the way I make my templates is with this foam core board. You can get this anywhere and uh, it's, it's real nice because it's pretty much the same thickness as the steel. All you need to do is lay it over, mark it out, cut it out, and so you'll need one of these pieces for every section that you intend to make. Um, what's nice though is that you can use, you can make templates for one side and then just flip them over and that'll do this, that'll act as your opposite side template as well. So once you've got all your templates you're just going to lay that out on steel and uh, I use a plasma cutter to cut these out. If you have one that's going to make it a lot easier. You could use an angle grinder too but that'll be a lot more time consuming. But I'm not going to show you how to cut those out because if you've watched my videos before you've seen me use the plasma cutter. But this is all the pieces that we're going to need to, um, to make our quarter panel armor. So I've got them labeled, uh, numbered, and I, all I did was basically once I got these cut out on steel, I just held them up to the quarter panels themselves, made sure that everything looked good, made a few corrections here and there that weren't on the templates, and uh, so now everything is perfect now you're not going to need that piece. So basically this will be what yours looks like. Some people like to add the tube bar that goes across here. You can do that if you like. But uh, that's it. All we got to do now is lay this on the uh, quarter panel and tack it up. Now if you're going to make these on your own, I do want to warn you that this piece right here is curved. So make sure that you can adjust for that. Now what I'm going to do is start down here, tack these two pieces, um, the aftermarket ones I've seen don't even cover this section down here. They just start right here. But I went ahead and added a little bit more to go around the cut and fold that we've already done in a previous video. Um, but basically, this piece is curved, so that makes things a little difficult. What we're going to do there is weld these pieces on, weld this to it, and then we'll have to clamp it down over here to add that curve before we weld it up on this side. Now if uh, I'm going to actually weld this to the, to the body, but um, you could also use bolts, nuts and bolts. Um, you want to probably countersink them so you're going to make some holes in your, um, in your steel over there. Lay this flat on here, drill those holes, and then bolt it all down. Um, and that would be the way to go for the most part, but uh, in my case I'm just welding it on here. Somebody has uh, added a whole lot of Bondo right here, so that's going to make things a little more difficult for me welding in here because there is probably a half inch of Bondo on this surface. I couldn't even tell until I got into it because it was a, a pretty good Bondo job, but um, we'll see if we can work with it.
down. Okay guys, well there is the other side. It turned out okay. The other side was so much easier. I got to wondering why this side was so feisty and I think I figured it out. Uh, this Jeep was rear-ended, had a, had a rear-end collision and this side took a lot of the brunt of the force at one point. Uh, this was before I had owned it, but you could tell because the frame was bent uh, in the back here on this side. They straightened that out they bondoed this all together, but so uh, what happened was not only was there a bend this way, but there was also kind of a bow going this way. Um, that that made things a little bit difficult, especially right here on this piece. I had to shorten that up. Um, but uh, once I weld this all together, I still need to finish welding it. But once I weld that, grind it smooth, you won't ever be able to tell. So uh, in that case, it turned out pretty good. I've matched it almost perfectly to the other side. Um, still a lot of finishing touches to be done, but for the most part, it's, it's there. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the website, bleepinjeep.com, the best off-road videos on YouTube, none of the boring stuff.
We'll see you next time.